A 12-year-old cancer survivor and ultra-marathon runner have teamed up hoping to inspire and uplift young cancer patients. CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely shows us their message of hope. We got a picture real quick? Yeah. There were pictures <laughs> and gifts. You can try to catch them. That's All for kids with cancer at Children's Hospital of Orange County who've been through a lot. I used to have a lot of hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> it, went like, it went like to here. Yeah. The real purpose of the hospital visit today, organized by a young melanoma survivor named Leah Vias, was to share her message. Did I hear you say some block stinks? Cancer stinks more. This 12 year old wants the world to know that her sunblock is on and that with summer upon us, children and adults must be vigilant. Dr. Leonard Sender treated Leah's cancer. Skin cancer is actually a massive problem in this country and it's increasing. Melanoma, which is the most dangerous form, is increasing. When do people start getting it? When do they damage their skin? They damage their skin as kids. And his teenagers. Leah Vias teamed up with ultra marathon runner Roy Wiegand to support kids fighting cancer. Wiegand set off this afternoon from Chalk Hospital to run 100 miles. He's dedicating each step to his son's friend, 12 year old Christopher Wilkie, who recently lost his battle with cancer. I'm going to think about Christopher and his other kids I just got to meet upstairs and their families and uh, what they're going through. And um, if I get uncomfortable or a little tired, it, th those kind of thoughts really put it in perspective. Like, I'm out here and I'm, I'm healthy and I'm able to do something like this. All right, guys. For the next 24 hours, Roy Weekend will be running continuously with a few short stops for nutrition and bathroom breaks. His goal is to reach McCambridge Park in Burbank at noon on the 4th of July. In Orange, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.